Who's that? My sister. <laughs> Deeper sisters in town just arrived from? Singapore. And what is your name? Pooja. Actually, you've been in the blind, the original blind tasting. Technically, you were in the video, but I think I edited you out. Yes, that's but the point. <laughs> but why are we sitting in front of your bags? Because these bags contain some gifts. Well, as you like to explain, because you went to the, what's it called? The, the show. The tax-free show in Singapore, the duty-free. So in, in Singapore, there's like a big conference of tax-free, duty-free, yeah. travel retail, in other words. And guess what? On the end of the show, on a Friday or whatever. Thursday. Whenever the last day is, they don't want to take all their bottles of whiskey back, do they? Not really. It's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> from Especially they've flown in from Scotland so and all over the world. Who did you see when you were there? Actually, we'll find out because... Pull out a bottle from somewhere. Exactly. Here, let's see what we have here. It's like, as you you can just start pulling bottles out as well. As you unwrap, and yeah. then you can tell us what they are. Let's see what this first one is. But <laughs> here, actually, there's another. This is tomato. What's that one? Let's let's start with this one. Okay, tomato. I think if I put it here, we'll probably see them in the other camera. Scott and what was the other guy's name? I've forgotten. <laughs> but you met Tomatin at their stand? Yes, I went to their booth. They were exhibiting at this show for the first time and they were hoping to get into travel retail. I think it was very so well Tomatin received. Tomatin 12, Tomatin 15 year old, American oat cask. So this is travel retail only. And the good thing is that because Scott was on um, Roy's, Scott Scott was on Roy's Aquavitae V Pub, and he actually recognised our videos from YouTube. Do you think that helped us get more whiskey? Yes, of course. Hang on, wasn't isn't there another tomato somewhere? Somewhere around, but in the meanwhile <laughs> we have this. So the, here's an irony: you're bringing us. Kentucky straight bourbon from Singapore well. <laughs> and one liter it is uh, Woodford Reserve Kentucky straight rye sorry not bourbon 45.2 percent if you're looking for the other tomato we Let's can see, what the, dig what? into this other suitcase I'm just seeing what ABV these are 43 for the 12 Come on, keep going okay 43 for the 12 and 46 for the 15 year old. Mm, I want to have a look inside. Mm, nice. So how does the tomato the 12 look? Okay, what's next? Glen, Glen Glasser. Where did you get Glen Glasser from? the booth of Brown Formal and this video. is Tim who is yeah. the expert. Uh, I, I'm humble. Uh, Chris Morris knows far more than I ever could but... And Tim tell us about this and you're giving me this whiskey. Uh, uh, yes, I took you these two bottles. Why? Yes. Uh, well I took the guys in charge. They saw the channel. Talked to your, uh, yourself here. Uh, so ex Tennessee maturation. Brown Formal obviously owns her own cooperage. Only American whiskey to do so. So finish in Exodus, which of course is going to be Jack Daniels and our Woodford Rye Whiskey as well. So we're giving these both to you and an uh, honest review on the products, but we look forward to seeing what you'll uh, come up with at the end of the day. Uh, thank you very much. So could you tell me a bit about the product and what you do? Ah, okay. So Woodford Reserve, if you've not tried the classic expression, this is our Rye Whiskey release. Designed to be incredibly well balanced. So the, uh, 53% rye, much lower. Normally a rye whiskey is kind of like a punch in the face, so you will expect when you try this not to be this abrasive rye whiskey. It's designed to be balanced like all of our products. And then for the uh, Glen Glasser, which is kind of like a phoenix rising from the ashes, we have the 30 and 40, but a large production prep. Uh, this one here, 
so this is exclusively short in ex Tennessee cars, so Jack Daniels cars, which are in our portfolio as well. Uh, Glen Glasser, which you get very light, fruity, floral notes, and uh, Wood for Reserve, of course, uh, incredibly well balanced American whiskey. The reason I'm here today. This is also from Brown Foreman's booth, these two. Oh, the Woodford yeah. Reserve. Uh, let's go to Martin. I found this in the other bag. <laughs> So this to Martin is an eight year, this is travel retail exclusive as well. This is bourbon and sherry. Let's see if it looks any more sherry. Oh, it looks kind of the same color. Wow. So is it something you wouldn't get here in America or in Scotland actually? You would only get them at an airport, hmm. presumably. Are we going to have enough room on the table? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'll put this one in front of Woodford Reserve. Yeah, what, look what Ooh, we have. Look at that. Slightly controversial. Our new Balblair. So like, is this travel retail or not? Balblair changed their bottles and um, age statement and annoyed people a bit because they put the prices up a lot. I had to wrap these a little bit well. Fantastic. We've got quite a lot of Balblairs already. Natural colour, non chill filtered at 46% for the Bal Blair. Uh, what shall I do with the box? Let's see. Do you remember talking to the Bal Blair people? I do. There was an Indian guy actually from Delhi who was manning the booth at that time. But they had a, I think they are like distributors because they had a few. He also gave me an old. Putney, is that how you call it? Old, Pult yeah, Old Pultney. Yeah, yeah. Pultney. I got yeah. that and that from his booth, yeah. And where's it was very nice. Where's this one from? Hello, Kuja. Uh, my name's Andrew Ling, yeah. and I'm from Hunter Ling & Company. We're a family-owned whiskey distiller, blender, and bottler based in Glasgow, Scotland, um, with our distillery, Art Nouveau, on the island of Isla, famous island of Isla off the west coast of Scotland. I'm suggesting to present to you this bottle of our wonderful Isla Journey blended malt Scotch whiskey, which is a blend of some of the various distilleries on Isla. Not Ardnaho yet, because Ardnaho has only been open for a few months, but some much more mature Isla whiskies in here, giving it a very peaty, very smoky, and very sweet flavour. So I hope you and your relatives enjoy this. And why are you giving me this whiskey away in this fair? What is this fair about? So, we are here in Singapore for the TFWA um, Asia Pacific Travel Retail Summit. Um, Hunter Lang and Company, we uh, wish to do more business in the travel retail sector. Uh, it's an important part of uh, the whiskey scene for us, or the retail scene. We want to be visible there and have our wonderful products, Isla Journey, and Highland Journey and our new I Love Single Malt Scarabus. We want to see these featured around the world um, to bring them to the, the travelling public. I wonder which which Islas. I think it smells of smoke already. <laughs> Hang on. I don't think it says which notes, I mean which... Uh, it doesn't say which ones, but Isla Journey. I even have a video of Andrew Liang. Oh look, it says UK Customs on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, deeper. Another one! So where did you get this one? This is from the same person I got the Bal Blair. They are distributors of this. So Bal Blair and, and uh, Old Pultney come from the same place? Mm -hmm. Nice. 40% ABV, Old Pultney 12 in the new box. Uh, oh wow, look what Deepa's found. <laughs> Not from Scotland. We are here at the Kavalan booth. Yes. And you are... Uh, my name is Derek and I look at the global business development of Kavalan whiskey. And uh, this one I would like to introduce you is our Kavalan classic whiskey, which, which I think is the world's uh, the best selling whiskey in over the world uh, because this one it was launched in 2008 
which is the same day as our dessert grand opening. Yeah, and it tastes very smoothy and fruity, and it also uh, like the soft tropical, uh, the feature of soft tropical climate of, of Taiwan. Yeah, and you're from Taiwan. Yeah, I'm from Taiwan. So this is just forty percent ABV, and it is just their classic. What's it called? Cavalan Classic. He did say that's his favorite one. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> okay. Is that it? What's next? Fantastic. Let's look for stuff. We're running out of space. Oh, look what I found. Another one. Hey, that's a little one. <laughs> a Glen Murray. Or is it just Glen Murray? Glen Murray? Glen Murray. Speyside Elgin Classic. I like the little bottles. <laughs> and Speyside Single Malt Scotch Elgin Classic from Glen Murray is 40%, 40% ABV. Still coming. Isla Mist, we should put that one with Isla Journey. The yeah. original peated blend. Where did this one come from? Cannot remember, but okay, we'll have to check the other photos. See, yeah. An unmistakable yet gentle eyeless smokiness with a complex fusion of sweet malt mellow oakness, oakiness, oh, yeah. and eyeless sea breeze. This is a blend. It's a 40% ABV blend. So that means we've got Isla Journey and Isla Mist. Good. And Are we done? We have one last bottle. This is Scottish gin. Oh, this is Scottish. This is from from one of the booths which was selling Scottish whiskey. I mean, not selling, but showcasing rather. Because in this show, actually, you can't really sell on the spot. It's just for trade and. It's just business to business. Yeah, right? business to business. Clients like Singapore Airlines, United, you know, airlines or airports across the world would come and have a look and buy an order. Oh, uh, Rune. Karun. Oh, I see. Tells you how to say it. Karun. Karun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Small batch Scottish gin. Who is it from? Distilled at Balmanach Distillery. Oh, there you go. A Balmen Balmenic gin. No, no colouring in that one. I got it from the same booth where Balblair came from and Old Pant. Oh, wait, I see more. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> These are little, I think, Louders, for let's see. retail. Ruby cask. Ruby. Is that? Does that mean it's wine? It's three different whiskies. Yeah. In Scotland. Some minis. Fantastic. And that's about it. That's enough. Wait, there's more bottles. But these are like... <laughs> we've got some vodka. This is Beluga vodka. <laughs> right, we've got some vodkas at the, at the front. Let's see. Better People get the brand found news. something more. And <laughs> that's funny. And a buffalo trace to finish. Let's dig into that's it. What a fantastic set of suitcases. Oh, I get more. Oh, there's one more! Wow, well done, Deepa! <laughs> I'm going to look for myself. There might be something else in here. Okay, go for it. Okay, I don't see any more. Is that it? I think that's it, Is yeah. that whiskey or something else? No, it's whiskey. Oh! Oh, yes, of course! The lost... Lo <laughs> the lost... <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Deepa found it. <laughs> Dalrun. No, Dalaruin. Dalaruin. Ruin. Dalaruin. So this is the Lost Distillery Company where they try to recreate what they think a distillery that's now closed would have produced at the time. 43% ABV. It's a blended malt scotch. And let's see. Uh, I'm not sure where Dalaruin was supposed to be from. Oh, Campbelltown? So this is a, a recreation of a Campbell town, I think. Argyle and Butte. Marriage of aged single malts. Uh, can't see too much information. 
What strikes me is the bottle is quite different. It's like yeah, it's a black, coated. dark, and it's like matte compared to the other glass bottles. So that's I wonder why. That's so you don't know how much you've drunk. <laughs> Ah, welcome. Thank you very, yes. very, very much. Welcome for your <laughs> gifts, which I really didn't have to pay for. <laughs> and it was all free. Absolutely. Thanks to all the yeah, generous... Thanks, thanks to everyone I who donated. Dr. Mountain. And how heavy were your bags? 32 kilos each, but that's because I had my other stuff too. <laughs>